All right, good morning, everybody. It's 857, September 7th. Um, you guys, look, I basically, God bless everybody in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. All my brothers and sisters. Um, basically, what I want to do is um, share with everybody. I'm going to share a dream I had last night. You know, the road, I've seen where road crews building the roads, the highways and stuff, where, you know, just filth was put on the roads, filthy stuff. The roads here have been paved in wickedness. And, uh, you guys, there's basically, there's nothing that can uh, be done. Angels, other than what the Lord is going to do. You know, we're, uh, Damage has been done. This is why it's like the days of Noah. You guys, remember it says an evil and wicked generation, they seek after signs. And we can clearly see they don't see nothing. We do, but they don't. Okay? They don't see nothing because um they're you know they're wicked. They've uh world heirs of this light it's entered it entered in and choked the word out it's just as scripture says you guys you don't have to seek signs you've had your eyes opened up to know and see when i mentioned about abba a b b a we know it how it's spelt in the word of god a b b a but when you look at that band abba and you know how the Luciferians, they say, as above, so below. That's why when you look at the word, that band name Abba, you see the B is actually backwards to the other B. Back to back. And uh, they're of the world, you guys. That band is of the world. It's not of God in any way. That's why um, you look at what they're doing. Their song, Faith, their new hit album song is Faith. About faith in themselves. I remember in my shop, this guy was going to pay me like 500 a day. And he told me, he goes, Mark, you got to get in your truck and save yourself. And this is when I had been seeing a lot of things and I knew the times we were in. I said, I can't do that. Only Christ can save me. You know, but uh, he ended up walking away uh, smiling, you know, like, uh, like looked at me like real devious and then smiled. They're in. They're in, everybody. This is why people are told to get control of your vessel. Um, these things are jumping in people. They're looking for a host to get into people. They're looking for you to turn to the world in any way that they can. And, uh, this is why I like being up here where we're at. You know, it's just getting easier to be up here as I see it, the wickedness increasing. You know, it's getting to the point where uh, soon, these are the signs that I look for, you guys, when the world hates you. Those are your biggest signs. And they're working that way now. Okay, These are the signs that you need to be watching. They're going to uh, they're gonna hate us. And this is where people are being tried, as the word says. And the word says the terrors are going to be gathered first. Okay? They're going to be gathered first. But you're not going nowhere until you see this happen. What should you be looking for? You know? We know because the Holy Spirit that dwells in us that it's soon. It's not far. But you have the ability to see what the world is doing. The world loves their own because they're all doing the same thing. Okay, they're all going to get their shots. They all love their jobs. They're all going to be tried. You know, they might say, well, you know, everybody's got to get the shot, man. You know, this is where they're being tried. You know, do you, how much do you love your job? You know, do you want to keep your job? Because here you're going to have to get your shot otherwise. This is where people are going to have to make their choice. They're being tried. And, uh, that's why it says love not the world or the things that are in it. And we've been, 
my eyes have been opened. Now, this is where people are going to fall away. And these are the terrorists still being further gathered. Those that trust him, trust in the Lord. Guys, when I left everything, I packed up my little truck that I had. I put what I could carry in the back. I left most of my clothes, everything. I could just take a few things that I could carry in my truck. I was thanking the Lord that I had a truck. And uh, three and a half years living in it. Let me tell you something. Insurance, tags, everything expired. I still got around. And I ended up finding a place where I could use an address to redo my tags. And but they ended up expiring because I couldn't maintain these things. Because I wasn't attached to the world no more. But I still got through trusting him. And you guys, a lot of people don't want that to happen. They don't want to lose any of theirs. Their, you know, things of the world. You have to be ready to lose it. And better yet, you got to trust him. As the word says, he'll guide your steps. But this is where your faith is. You're going to be tried. People are going to be tried. And now their jobs. This is what's coming up. We're probably going to see it this month a lot. Where a lot of people are going to be losing their jobs. Because uh, they didn't get the shot. You know, you're going to see where banks are going to come in. And you're going to have to have proof. Uh, money, finances, they're going to be doing everything they can do or throw at you. But until then, until the whole world looks at you and hates you, you're going to experience that. You, we're not going nowhere until then. The Lord showed it to me. So am I going to, do I have to look for any other signs? No. But wake up, he's posting how near some of these things are. I see it by the actions, what they're doing to people. I tell you, man. Man, those people are really getting it hard. It's coming to America, do you guys? It's going to come to America. Look at what Australia's been getting bombarded hardcore. And then in some countries in Africa or whatever, where the banks are already telling people they can't shop without the chip in their card. It shows proof that they've been vaccinated. You know? I think if this place, when it gets hit, it's going to get hit like hard. Hard, even nuked. Big cities, it's going to like, it's going to be where wars start off. Oh! Because this is going to be one of the difficult places. People are refraining from doing things. <laughs> so, seek the Lord to see if, that, if you know, people are in the city. He might tell you to get out of the city. But if not, we don't, we still rest in the Lord. And your works will follow you. Anyhow, here we go. 715 in Psalms. He made a pit and digged it and has fallen into the ditch which he made. Okay, that's why it says evil will destroy the wicked. All these people that chose to do evil, to follow those ways, to let this entity in them so that they could get what they wanted in this world things have always been here, but not like they are now. That's why there's probably swimming full of them. You know? We're in corruptible bodies. That's why a lot of times some of us are getting attacked when we're sleeping. You know? But while we're awake, we're steadfast with the Lord, you know? I will praise the Lord according to His righteousness. I will sing praise to the name of the Lord, the Most High. Alright, let's go to... Uh, Matthew 7, 20. Matthew. Oh, yeah, let's go to Daniels 3, 3. Something about this. Oh, yeah. You know how people are out there worshiping all these images right now? The princess, the governors, the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, all the rulers of the providence, they were gathered together into the dedication of the image. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, had set up. So you see, you guys, these images, this is all being set up for people to follow it, to look at it, be in awe by it. Stay away from it. You know, that's why I told you I don't mind not having internet. 
I don't mind being away from all that stuff. I don't need to see. That's why he told them that wouldn't come to that image and wouldn't worship that image. They would be cast into the fire. And that's why it says in scriptures, only those who are like those guys, three that were tossed into the fire, uh, Noah, Daniel, that was thrown in the lion's den, only they will be saved when these times come. They'll be saved by their own righteousness, okay? Because they stayed away from these things. But it says, come out from among that. In 18.4, Revelations, come out from among them, lest you suffer their plagues. Okay? So, stay away from it. By 3.27, the princess, the governors, the captains, and the kings, and the counselors, they were being gathered together. It's the same people that were worshiping the image. Now they're being gathered together here to see the three men that were thrown into the fire. Okay. Neither were their court coats changed, nor the smell of the fire had passed on them. That's when Nebuchadnezzar blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He sent his angel. He delivered the servants. See, only they will be saved. You see, that's why we got to be staying away from what the world is doing right now. I want nothing to do with what the world is doing. All right, let's go to uh, 755 Matthews. 720. Now, this is where you guys, we know who to, okay? You're going to know them by their fruit, by their fruit. You shall know them. So it says, not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. He says, many will say in that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? And in your name have we not cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works. I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine and does them, I will liken him to a wise man, which built his house on a rock. Now, where it says, and the rains descended. And the floods came, the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. What do you think it is right now that you're going to be seeing, you guys? That's what this is. That's what this is. You're seeing. All that are coming on the earth right now. Okay? You'll know them by their fruit. Men gather grapes of thorns or figs or thistles. Now, even so, every good tree that bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. You know, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. You guys, we met somebody that were was just recently telling us how they... You know, their family members are at home or in the hospital sick with COVID. Sick with COVID. You guys, I don't know what they're in the hospital for, but uh, it could just be like flu virus or whatever. Who knows? But it says nothing will come near our dwelling. Read Psalms 91 and Psalms 20. Read those over and over and over and over. Stay close to the Lord. Okay? And uh, this is just another thing. You remember when they were Ebola? People were dropping like flies out there. When our people, Bill Gates, was over there injecting people with stuff, people were dropping like flies, dying fast. And everybody here was paranoid. Ooh, don't bring it here. Don't bring it here. And they, then they said, oh, we're bringing somebody home that's got Ebola. And everybody in America was going, no, no. 
know, and then they said, oh, we got it under control. They're okay. And then when they left there, people stopped dying there when they left. They were just flat out killing by the herds while they were there. When they left, it stopped. Do people here care? They're just glad to hear that it stopped. They don't even think for a moment that they were the ones killing these people. That they were using them like guinea pigs, lab rats. Corrupt, you guys. All right. Let's go to 15. Okay, let's go to 13. Yeah, America is corrupt, polluted. Eighteen thirty. Let both grow together until the harvest. In the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, "Gather you together first the tares." This is what's happening, you guys. Um, evil is doing exactly what it's allowed to do. Now, it's allowed to lead you into these things in the world if that's what you seek. If you seek after God, after Christ, follow his ways, his commandments, his teachings. That's why he says, my commandments are not grievous. They're not grievous. And if you do them, you're going to be fulfilling the law. and You don't even know it. I meet people that say they try to follow the law. It says, don't. Because you'll be held under the law. You don't have to follow the law. Follow the commandments of God. And the teachings of Christ. Do what he says. You don't have to. And he says, by, by fulfilling the first two uh, commandments, you, you fulfill the whole law. I don't even know what it all is. I don't read it, you know. It's what in Moses, you know, I don't try to do all that. It's like trying to do what the Hebrews are doing. Why they crucified Christ. This is what you're going to see, you guys. Right? This is what the parable of the seeds are. That's why it says, But receive the seed into a stony place, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon, and with joy he receives it, and yet he has no root in himself, endureth for a while. But when tribulation or persecution arises, because of the word, by and by, he is offended. You guys, remember when Peter was over there? I don't know him. I don't know him. I'm not saying we look at him because they happen to a lot of people. But the word comes. And he is the word. The word is. In the beginning was the word. <clears throat> the word is people are going to be, they're going to be coming against it hardcore here. You know, they're going to be trying to do away with these. And they're going to be going after these big time. Anybody with it. And this is where they're going to be tried. He that receives seed among the thorns is those that hear the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches chokes the word and it becomes unfruitful. You know? But he that receives seed into the good ground, he that hears the word and understands it, when also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. Okay. Go to fifteen fourteen. We're being separated, you guys. And we still there's tears to be built, gathered still. People are going to be tried. Got to be tried still. Just know this. You know, and as soon as they get done trying them, you know, then, and then, and only then are we going to be changed. And we'll be taken. See, we're being tried. You know? That's why it says, don't be anxious, but be faithful, trusting in the Lord. Okay? Because this is what we're watching. We're all going to be tried. And, you know, Closer it gets, the better because they're going to be getting out of here. Now, any of this has to happen, and I want it to happen because I'm tired of it. You know, and until it happens, I don't want to keep living like this every day. I can't stand it here. 15, 14. 
at them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. If the blind lead the blind, both will fall into the ditch. I'm saying tares are still being gathered, you guys. We got churches everywhere. That is, some of them are taking the shots, and some of them are still believing this COVID lie. They trusted in man still. You know, when I hear them saying, oh, they got this, they got that. What well, You're believing what they're telling you. You know? 1820. Amen. 1820. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Guys, this is how it's felt like to be two or three of us around each other. Not a whole lot. Okay. All right, let's go to first or let's go to Luke eleven twenty nine. Eleven twenty nine. When the people were gathered Together, he began to say, this is an evil generation. They seek a sign. and There won't be no sign given to them. Like the sign of Jonas the prophet. Okay, they're not seeing it. They're going to be swallowed up in it. They don't see it, though. They're not being shown anything. And everything, this is why we have to be watching, guys. Watching terrors being... Everything's coming abroad. Everything. Nothing hidden. It's only hidden to those that can't see. Sadly, I hear it in people that say they're awake, but I still hear they're like double minded. All right. That was. Uh, now, let us go to Mark 8.12. And he signed deeply in his spirit. And he said, Why does this generation seek after a sign? Verily I say to you, there shall no sign be given unto this generation. Hebrews 319. Nineteen. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. You know, these people are not going to enter in because of their unbelief. All right, let us go to uh, John fifteen nineteen. Uh, And here's something. Here we go. 1919. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, Therefore, the world hateth you. He was saying this 2,000 years ago to his disciples. Okay? And they did. They hated him. Now, we've been chosen out of it. We were blind. We were once going with the flow of it. Now, we've been chosen out of it. We came out of it. And now, people we used to run with, they even speak evil of us. 
we don't do the things we want to used to do. Okay, so now they look at us totally different. Okay, so we know we've been chosen. We know we're not of the reprobate. We know why they don't see because of the world. Okay, let us go to uh, John. Of love not the world or the things that are in it in the world if anyone loves the world the love of the father is not in him For all that is in the world the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world the world passes away and the lust thereof see this is all changing it's like passing away. You say this thing is on a deathbed. The world is. Yet these people, you talk about people in the hospital with COVID. But they don't believe that that's this lie. The whole world is, is sick. You know, that's what they are. They're all full of it. And it goes on and warns you about seducers. They're going to try to pull you in with them. Let's go to 3-1. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knows us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now you are the sons of God. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Guys, this is when we're going to be chained. Changed. Why it goes on in three, it says, you know, this is where people are being manifested, either into the world or either into God. You know, Christ that abides in you. You're one or the other. We're, guys, there's no bigger sign out there. There's nothing I got to keep pointing at. Hey, 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 hey. Look, look, look. You, know, you guys can see it, what the world is doing. It's not of the father, it's of the devil. Okay? There's got to be gathered first. He that committed sin is of the devil. All right, we don't do that no more. We stop. Not by our power, not by our might, by the power of God through Christ. Christ came to, to destroy the works of the devil. He did that in us. Without him, we could do nothing by ourselves more than they could heal people back then when the, when the disciples were chosen to heal people they said you think it's of us it's not of us it's of Christ whom you crucified all right let's go to four nine in this was manifested the love of God towards us because that God sent his only son begotten son into the world that we might live through him. Here in his love. Not that we loved God. But that he loved us. And he sent his son. To be the prohibition for our sins. Love it. If God so loved us. We ought to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another. God dwells in us. And his love is perfected in us. Because he's given us of his spirit. Hereby we know that we dwell in him and he in us. Because he has given of us of his spirit. Jesus Christ is the savior of the world, guys. But the world can also be the savior of save us from it. You know? Look at what's happened to the people that got uh Pulled in by it. This world is like a drug. And Satan is the is the influencer of it. All right, four seventeen. Here is love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is. 
so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, as fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. What is it that people are fearing? It's COVID. Look at them with their masks and everything. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God and he hates his brother, he's a liar. But he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? where we're at you guys okay all right god bless everybody be strong be bold in the name of our lord and our savior jesus christ and uh i'm gonna keep posting the links to, uh where we're trying to raise funds for rosa in brazil okay she's got two children out there that's the only ones that we know of right now that we've been working with and uh and we know uh, the other one's gone. She's left someplace. She's out of, she's away from everything now. You know, she's all right. She's no longer running around with that tug of war in Paris. You know, she got out of it. That's very blessed. Anyhow, we appreciate all the help we've received from everybody. And uh, guys, be strong, be bold. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And watch what God is doing right now. You know, the world is, we're not of the world. The world, you can see where the tares are being gathered still. People are still being tried. <laughs> and uh, until they're all gathered up, you guys, we're not going nowhere. But the thing is, we're resting in the Lord because we're watching what they're going to do. The choices that they're still making. You know, until that time comes, you know, there's going to be areas here, people in big cities being new. They're going to be blaming it on uh, terrorists from other nations, and they're going to go in there and kill these people that'll be innocent. You know, that's what they do. They blame it on somebody, and everybody here will believe it. That's just like everything, everything they do. So be careful, like it says, don't be led away with the air of the wicked. Okay? God bless you in Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. All who call on the name of Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, believe that he came here in the flesh, he died, and was raised after three and a half days, and he took our sins and put them on that cross. You will be saved, but you must believe in him. Then you got to pick up not this world. You got to die to this. You have to overcome this world as he did. So we, through him, and you got to be real with him. You can't sit at the table of devils, the table of the Lord. That's where I'm seeing double minded people. They still are doing both. Or they're trying to keep the law, or, you know, you can't do these things. You know? Satan makes war with who? Those who keep the commandments of God. Christ. 12, 17. Okay, God bless everybody. Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior.